You told me a bit about why you're here. Now let me tell you why I'm here. Okay, what's my purpose in the room? I'm here, I mean, I'm here to do a lot of things, but if I could make one sort of overarching sort of description, it's to make you think. That's why Mr. Wuru is in the room. This is my goal, okay? Now, it wouldn't be an introductory lesson if I did not do this, achieve my goal in the first lesson. So here we go. If you don't have a book, get out some other kind of paper. If you do have your book there, open it up. Um, I won't give you a title for this, but I do want you to follow along with me. And maybe you can think of a title of your own later on, okay? Now, um, I don't mind what kind of book you use. If you have a grid book, that's fine. If you don't, that's also just great. So, so yes. Can you use your laptops? Okay, um, great question. You will be using your laptops over the semester. I actually have a couple of questions on technology, but I might leave that for now. The bulk of what you do as maths you probably, for your own interest, will want to do it with a pen. It will be faster and more efficient. Just generally speaking. There will be times when we will need the computers. Believe me, there are some cool visualizations and graphing and all that kind of thing. But for now, get your pen out. Okay? All right. Now, um, I want to start with... I need another... I want to start with something which um, I hope will make you think. Okay, it starts off pretty simple. I'm definitely going to need two columns here. Um, you can use the outdoor whiteboard. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go outside. I know how my work is going to go. Um, and I hope that as you go along, you'll be like, "Oh, this makes sense." Until we get to the end, you'll be like, "Really? Really? This is this is what I'm trying to do." Okay. So let's start with. A series. Now you don't know what a series is as a as a math term. A series is we'll call this one S with a little G, a subscript. A series is a string of numbers you add up together. That's all. Okay. Uh, as we go through, I'm going to be giving lots of terminology to you, and I'm not necessarily going to dwell on lots of it. But just stop me or throw some you know sharp instrument at me. Just get my attention so that I tell you what it is. Okay. Uh, this series is a very simple one. Um, it's it's that letter G there is for um. Named after a guy, an Italian guy, named Grandi. Anyway, you can look him up later. The series that he thought about looked like this. Very simple. One, minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one, forever. Okay, now raise your hand if you've seen this before. Anyone? That's a, yeah, you have? Okay, that's right. Don't spoil it for everyone else. Okay. Now... Here's the thing, this dot dot dot, what do you think that means? What do you think that indicates? To infinity just keeps going. going. I'm, I'm glad some of you said infinity. Infinity is going to be something we deal with later on, but I'm just going to leave that for now. It does mean it keeps on going forever, never ends, okay? But we can think about this. We can think about the whole series, the whole sum, and we can actually assign it a value, even though it goes on forever. Now, my question to you is, what do you think we should, if we had to say, we had to define it, we had to give a value to this, what value would you give? <coughs> hmm. What candidates are there? Whether you're right or wrong, yeah. Isn't it a paradox? It, well, it, it is a bit, and that's why I'm posing the question to you. We're going to meet a lot of paradoxes in the future. Well, let me give you a suggestion, okay? I think we could call the series 1 equal to 1. Okay, I'll tell you why. Look, if you just take the first part, there's just the 1 there, right? That's fair enough. If I, um, if I skip over this guy because he's just a bit annoying, right? I mean, you just take those two together, and they don't make any difference. They cancel each other out. I still have my 1, don't I? Right? And then I've got another pair here, right? Well, they, they cancel no. out. They also will disappear and not matter, right? So I'm just left with that one that I started with. Is that fair? Is that a reasonable kind of thing to say? Now, that's one idea. The problem with it, though, is that I can just as easily play the game the other way, right? Because I can say, well, I paired up these two before, right? Well, how about I pair up these two and these two, right? So if I start with this one minus one is... Zero, okay, and then these will be zero as well. And the next ones will be zero and zero. So it sounds like it's all zero, right? Hmm. Now, I'm going to do this a lot to you, and I hope you will get used to it. It's very uncomfortable to begin with, okay? But um, it's going to be for your benefit, and I hope you realize, like, it's not, you know, no one's marking you in this or anything like that, okay? So it's just for interest. I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to ask you to shout out. Uh, a guess, right? 
I've given you two alternatives, one or zero, right? Which one do you think it would be? And on the count of three, I'm gonna ask you to all say it all together. The reason why is because if I ask you like raise hands and that kind of thing, people look at each other and like, ooh, ooh, he's smart and he said one, so I'm gonna put up one as hell, you know. So I don't wanna do that. I just wanna see what you, you <laughs> think, okay? So on the count of three, I want you to say one, or zero, right? And I just want to see what the balance of the room is like. Okay, so you ready? You ready? You thought about it? Okay, the count of three. One, two, three. One. Oh. <laughs> We're almost 50-50. Now that you've actually said something, right? Hands up for ones. I'm just curious now. It's, it's okay, good. That is close to, okay, hands down and hands up for zeros now. Okay, so it looks like it's sort of split a third, two thirds, okay? I'd like to suggest that you're wrong. Um, I don't think it's one or it's zero, and it's partly borne out by the fact that you all disagree with each other. Okay. I think it's equal to something completely different, and I will show you how I think it works. Okay. Now, sorry, I make sure that I follow everything here. Um, I'm going to take this series, right? And I'm going to take it away from one. Okay, this is your next line. Okay. One minus this series. Now, by the way, I should say, this proof that I'm about to show you it's controversial. It's controversial. People argue about it all the time. Uh, in fact, if you go to my final result and you go and search for it, you'll find a lot of people arguing about it. Did you know maths can be controversial? Sure it can. Now, some people say I can't do this, but I'm just going to give it a go anyway and see what happens. Watch. If I say one minus, and then I've got that whole series in there coming afterwards. So I'm going to start some brackets, right? Because I've got the whole thing, right? So it's 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on forever, okay? Now, you're all stage 5, okay? I think we can expand brackets by now, okay? So <laughs> tell me, what is this going to be equal to once I expand it? Don't forget there's a minus sign out the front, right? The minus sign out the front means what's going to happen to all the signs? Reverse. They'll all swap, they'll all reverse, right? Every single one. So therefore, this plus 1 is going to be a minus 1, right? This minus 1 will be a plus one, and it's going to continue, right? I recognize that. I recognize that. That's my first line, isn't it? This, this thing here on the right-hand side, this is, this is the series I started with, is it not? What do you think? Yeah. Have, I, have I done anything weird? It's just expanding brackets. I think so far, so good, okay? But hold on, what's this thing equal to? It's equal to that. Right? I can, I can do this. This is algebra. It's just, it's just, it's got a weird, I mean, if I just did that, you know, it's an S, it's an unknown, you can work out what this is. I'll put the G back. What do I do? Suggestions. Move the S and it's G to the other Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let's, let's, let's add that sum to both sides, okay? I just end up with a one on this side. And it looks like I get two of them over here. There's two of them, right? Do you believe it? Hmm. Am I making you think yet? <laughs> believe me, I'm just getting started. Okay, all right, now, whether you accept it or not, the logic is there, and you can disagree with the logic if you like, but the logic is there nonetheless. Okay? It does seem strange that when you look at all these numbers, which are all whole, admittedly, some are negative, but they're all whole, you add them up and somehow a fraction pops out the other end. Hmm. 